It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1976, recorded Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. That ship has sailed. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dickie D's ship finally comes in. We also have a what the heck is it gadget plus my bathroom gadgets and a brand new set! All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same damn show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is! Our new co-host, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? <laughs> I'm doing good. We have replaced you after 19 years, and the, going into the 19th year, we have replaced yes, you with a show clone. One. This is show one of year 19. This is show one of year 19, and we are in a new location. This is actually a brand new place. I, I love that. And uh, I've been spending a few since last episode. I shut down the show. And I immediately started hauling stuff over uh, to this area and uh, started building the brand new Gizwiz Studio. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the chat room so far said the, the new set makes you look younger. Oh. And wow. also that your shorts clash with the set. So yeah, they kind of do. <laughs> I will admit these were a last minute. I'm I've been building the set all day long, and uh, was a little worried about the set and starting the show on time, and less worried about my shorts. Oh, uh, no, that's a, is that a real wall or is that a fake wall? It's real. No, no, behind uh, the monitor. This. A real. Oh, okay. The okay. monitor has a new feature. There's um. A really cool animation. I was going to say, I thought it looked like something flashing back there. Yeah, yeah. We got some some animation. I may change the animation style um, in future episodes. We also have some fancy curtain lights. We've always had the curtain lights, but we can we can change them around. If you, do you like, do you like green? Is there a light for the disco ball? I need to add one pretty badly, honestly. And the disco oh. ball may move up here on because I think that's a pretty good spot for. Oh yeah, that'd be good. That was yeah, that would be great. Switch those, um, but yeah. So this is the first rendition of uh, the new set, and I think uh, it looks great. I'm happy. I'm happy. And we I got the sign back. Even yes, Becky's saying it's not crooked. We may need to make it crooked in order. Yeah. To that's really sort of our tradition here. Make it feel like home. Nothing is on the level. I installed it too good. I can't remove <laughs> That's okay. You have a whole week to... There we go. Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, and perfect. if it falls off this episode, even better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, so... Big week for the the this set, but also we got some cool stuff. You got some what the heck is it? So I got my bathroom gadgets. Um, so yeah, we got a good show. Uh, on top of all. And I'm going to do a quick update because on Giz Fizz last night, I mentioned what? Charlie was going in for surgery today. Oh my gosh! Charlie is back home. He had two teeth removed, and he had some sort of a growth on his gums. He had that removed. Uh, he's a little bit out of it and they put one of those Elizabethan collars around him because they also found the little knot on his leg that they removed. Anyway, Charlie never picks at stitches. So as soon as we left the vet, we took the Elizabethan collar off <laughs> because I already have a little one from Amazon. Uh, instead of those big clinky, uh, Plastic collars. Right. The uh, cone Amazon of shame. has little inflatable collars so dogs can't lick or bite stitching. So if you are sent home, if your dog is sent home with one of those big things, look on Amazon. And they make inflatable ones that you can just inflate it uh, to the size you want to keep the dog from 
pulling out stitches or anything like that. So anyway, Charlie is doing good. He's a little groggy. But he'll be up for next week's performance. That's good. Oh, man. I'm glad that he's okay. Uh, yes. Get well, Charlie. Yeah, exactly. So that's interesting. You use a little inflatable collar instead of the cone. Instead of the... Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Smart. I mean, I've had to cone the dogs a, key... a few times, and they never like it. Oh, they hate them. <laughs> they hate it. And they also no, bump into everything. They, you know, it adds yeah. an extra, like, yes, half... Yes, exactly. So exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they're very yeah. clumsy. That's... Oh, man. I'm glad he's doing okay. That's good. That's very yes. good. Yes. Um, let me think. Other than that, there was really no other uh, thing other than the set. Uh, I think he did me. a great job. <laughs> I think he did a great job. Thank uh, you. Oh, Thank we you. can just jump into gadgets if Let's you like. Let's jump in. Let's do it. Okay. Here's Gadget number one. I miss boats. I miss boating. But thanks to Amazon and Dennis and his imagination, I can Whoa. still go boating in my bedroom on a sailing ship with a great cloudy sky with stars. All right, let me see what we're looking at here. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So this is pretty neat. These are from <laughs> Amazon, okay? I never knew about this. Amazon sells every kind of imaginable background. Dennis bought one of New York City uh, in the background. And they start, I believe this is the smallest, which is three by five. And this was under $20. Actually, wow. under $10. And then, wow. And he said, oh, how about we add a mask? which he did. And then I said, oh, you know what? Let's add running lights. So I went on Amazon and I bought it. These are actual ship running lights. We wow. dimmed them uh, because they were way too bright. They were <laughs> the Running lights have to meet Coast Guard requirements. But you don't need Coast Guard requirements in a bedroom. Um, <laughs> and we're going further. Dennis has an idea to paint clouds and stuff over this, which we're going to do. But I just wanted to see, so it's a fabric, okay? It's a thin fabric. And great for kids' birthday parties. You can buy all kinds of backgrounds. We'll go look at a few of them uh, after this video. But I think it's really great. Oh, I mateys. Oh, wait. <laughs> this little guy, that, remember? Is that the astronaut? That? I think it's called, like, the yes. Mecha Man. That is what is projecting. Let me just slow this again. That is what is projecting the moving sky and the stars. And that was thirty bucks, I believe. The uh, the uh, nebula projector with stars. Arr, I'll get you a cracker. <laughs> this is the finished product. Where'd you get Polly? And it says worked long and hot hours. And my ship has come in. <laughs> let's take a peek at it. And let's see it with the lights dim just a bit more. And you can see how great. So I can go boating every night. So Dennis and be extended that up to the morning. ceiling. I see. Actually, I think this is pretty swell. Swell? It looks <laughs> swell. Wave. <laughs> so after I bought my background with the ship, yeah, uh, Dennis thought he would how he buy the New it. York City skyline and put it in his windows, but it didn't work out as well for him. This is what the New York City skyline looks like. And this is $10. It's $9.99. So if you're doing a party and you want a New York City background... This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like when it's very, very windy in New York City. <laughs> An earthquake! Whoa! That is so funny. So, Those are uh, cool! They're, they're inexpensive, too. They're and, inexpensive, and they make them up to like 10 by 15 feet. That's if crazy. you go to the, uh, yeah, that's the one I bought, 989. Look at this, 10 by 20 feet. Whoa. And There's then no if way. you go to the store, 
Yeah, that that should bring you to the store. Look, you can get fake bookcases. <laughs> you can get a fake brick wall. You can get an outdoors. You can make oh it look like Oh my God, this is perfect. I saw, who was it in the chat room that said, for Zoom calls, this would this be great. This is great. This is great. <laughs> Could you imagine? You look like you're in an office. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's one that's the inside of a palace, oh a gosh, garden. A this is the palace. Look at the look at the palace there. You said that's a great Zoom background. You go. I'm oh, about yeah, to get the thrown. I fancy. feel like. <laughs> Hello, you've called royalty, and I'm yeah, just... exactly. And, and they are five by seven feet, eighteen dollars. That's crazy. Yeah, it does seem like a really nice photo background too is like uh you can do yeah. portraits and things like that and if you're having a party or something and you just want a quickie uh oh look at that big what is that this is another whoa the chandelier it's a great sh zoom but there's a great zoom background well, seriously say, i should have just oh, replaced the set your apartment's typically small <laughs> but i lucked in with this one I just put a few things up around the room, you know, feeling, <laughs> feeling a little sassy today. Should have just bought one of this for the set. Should have just, oh, yeah, should have just been that. I didn't need to work so hard. That was great. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, that one that I was just looking at, the $97 one, it's $97 because it's 20 feet by 10 feet. That's huge. Yeah. Massive. I can't imagine how big that would be. Um, it'd be about 20 feet. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so if you're looking for backgrounds, that's the place to go. It's, yeah. It's really neat. Yeah, that's really cool. That is really, really cool. Um, Okie dokie. Wow. All right, we're going to do a what the heck is it? Time for another yep. what the heck is it, Dennis? What the heck is it? Uh, uh, um, a future oh, plate. Difficult. I oh, think God, I you know what take it a is. Guess? I think it's an expandable bowl. Expandable mm. bowl? Bowl. That you, you open it up, press down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh, oh you, like you pull it up. and No, you push down into it. You push down? Yeah, push, push down in the middle and pull up on the side. Oh, okay. Bowl. Expandable bowl. Okay. I'm going to say a, um, now, a hat for people who know, like Zen gardens. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now, how much would you? Pay? Now, 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 do you change anything what? about your answer? I think I actually do know what this it's is. It's a swivel thing. I, 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 it could be I okay. What. All right. So is it a lazy Susan ish? This is the pull out thingy. Um, you are right. Ah, the I've never fridge turntable. Known someone to own one of these. Okay, it's rather a bizarre Lazy Susan. I think they call it on Amazon like the rectangular Lazy Susan. Uh, this is how it works, and then I'll tell you why it doesn't work for me. Okay, <laughs> um, this sits on a shelf in your refrigerator, and you put your you know, the mayo, the, all the condiments, whatever it is on it. And then you pull it out. I have it out toward me. I guess I'm going to turn it this way so I can. So the, the back of the refrigerator is here. Stuff on the shelf here. And you pull it out. And then you turn it. This way you can get to the stuff that's in the back. You turn it this way. You can get the things on the side. And then you can put it back in. You need a pretty wide refrigerator, though, right? It's what? You need a wide refrigerator. Yeah, I, no, why it wouldn't work for me, I was actually disappointed, is, all right, we have these suction cups on the bottom. And they say, and, and I don't know uh, any refrigerator that's built that way, at least mine, is that the suction cups have to fasten down to the shelf to hold this in place as you pull the tray out. Now, the shelves in my refrigerator are all wire. Ah. So there's no way for me to 
have this stay steady to be able to pull it out and spin it to get to the stuff at the back. Um, I think it's a clever idea, but not for me. But I have these... Well, they have these things if you have to undo it. Oh, yeah, you pull, you up, on pull up on the suction. Yeah, suction, suction cups are things. sort of hit and miss. Uh, yeah. I guess if you wet them. Also, this is a porous wood. You know, what about on the bottom shelf where it's the top of the freezer, the crisper? That's not a grill. You know what? There was a reason. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's too hard to kneel down there to get this. <laughs> <laughs> if you're young, that'll work. Uh, I originally tried on the wire shelf, and then I thought, oh, how about the bottom shelf? But then I thought, I don't want to get down there each time. But I, I You think could always get a piece of plastic and put it on top of the wire rack if you really like this Oh, you thing. know what? That's an idea. You, you know, know what? That's a piece of loose side. That's cut a very good size. idea. Yeah. But I thought uh, people would like to know about the rectangular Lazy Susan. And... Quite frankly, they call it the refrigerator, the fridge turntable. But you could put this on any kind of a shelf, uh, a cabinet, whatever, and be able to get to what's all the way in the back. And, you know, in a cupboard, this might be a better idea because you can't see the second line of cans or whatever. But now, when you this, turn it, it gets wider, doesn't it? Well, when you... No, it's the same. When you turn it, it's the same, isn't it? I don't know. No, I think. Oh, he means it. It does. It is, is, it is like three no, inches wider here, as it is reaches it its max. Its know, midpoint. Anyway. Right. But I think so you would store it, it in that wide the thing to remember orientation. Is yeah. The base has to be fastened down for this to work. Okay, which is. Something I did not consider when I ordered it. Oh, it's interesting. Sort of locks in place this way. It can't go back that way. When it goes back this way, it unlocks. That's it. Fridge turntable. And I think I paid uh, 28 bucks. It could still be used as a Zen Garden hat. Just saying. Yeah. Just, just saying. Um, uh, Dan, it holds, Dan said, how many pounds can it hold? Uh, according to the box, it holds up to 17.6 pounds on the turntable. Interesting. So that's kind of an interesting idea. Yeah, I, I definitely think, yeah, it, it, like they show the glass, uh, tops. Yeah. Do you have glass shelves in your Yeah, refrigerator? I have glass in mine. Oh, um, Okay. I think I think most I think if you were to buy a new refrigerator, typically they don't come with wire anymore. Um, but <clears throat> I'm surprised that they don't have any option for people with wire refrigerators. Because it seems like you should be able to pop off the suction cups and like put on a different solution. It seems like yeah, you should so be able to yeah, 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 make exactly. it work. Um, exactly. Although you see, my refrigerator is probably twenty-five years old. So yeah. Does your uh, apartment complex, oh. or, or does your, or is it yours? Like no, no. Um, it's it yours. is. It came with the building, right? And you don't right. want anything to go wrong with it because if you need a new refrigerator, it's an automatic. The city has a thing. It's like three dollars a month, forever. Yes. For a you refrigerator? Can, you can, yes. You cannot buy your own refrigerator. If, you, if you're in a rented apartment, it has to be supplied by the landlord, and they add – it could be even more now. They add that a month. A month. Do so you think you there's a black market for refrigerators where you could just go <laughs> buy, <laughs> buy your own refrigerator and not tell anyone? Sneak it in at midnight. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh! Oh, so I see. So, so if you get a new refrigerator, the landlord would charge. Is it the city or the landlord? That's. Um, I, I think it, it, it's what the city allows for the landlord to do. When I you see. get an apartment, it has a refrigerator, right? And it's in the rent. But if it has right. to be replaced, I see. I see. I see. Then you have to pay something. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my I, I'm in my apartment, it came with a refrigerator. But uh, you know, I move so recently that <laughs> it's new. <laughs> you know, they oh, they've okay. updated it. <laughs> so uh, I'm lucky there. Um, yeah, this is. I, I think that definitely with someone with the right refrigerator, uh, this would make a lot of sense. Yeah, and also uh, I'm thinking uh, uh, on the cabinet. Actually, you, you need a lot more room in the cabinet, but it's hard to reach cans behind the front cans. And if yes. you had enough room to spin that around, it'd be an easy way to get to the cans in the back. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I like it. I think it's a pretty cool little gadget. A, a, a good way to organize your refrigerator, as long as it works with your fridge. Yes, uh, exactly. And our final guy is... Um, unbreakable wine glasses. It was a good, good option. Party. We were up there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my! Whoa! Oh. Dicky D, you've had a few too many. Luckily, <laughs> these are unbreakable wine glasses. Now, what's amazing about them is that. They bounce. They bounce. <laughs> I, I am so disappointed. These are five bucks each, okay? And the reason they're unbreakable is... Let me do it. Mmm, that's good wine. Made fresh daily at the wine store. They are the lightest... That sounds like a solo cup. It, it does, doesn't it? Imagine. Five dollars each? No, they were two for ten. <laughs> That's five dollars each. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Amazon and for actually we're gonna weigh it first so you can see just how I mean I don't I'm guessing What? Now we're, we're taking it quietly reason, because we taped this last night at midnight. The reason it doesn't break is it's too lightweight. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to go to the office and weigh it, and then I'll show you. Uh, oh, you know, we'll see what people thought of them on Amazon. <laughs> okay, let's see how much these wine glasses weigh. I should put something in it because it tends to want to float away. <laughs> All right, so let's put it down. It's going to break when you set it on. And the... Not even an ounce? Nine-tenths of no. an ounce. What? What? It went to uh, an ounce when I just went to lift, it, to lift it off. All right. It looks like they don't have the two-pack anymore, but here's the four-pack. You know, when I first bought them, uh, probably six weeks ago, it was an ad, and it just said, uh, wine glasses. It did not say acrylic plastic drinkware. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have spent. Th 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 you thought you were getting a glass. Yeah, I thought I was. I, I I really don't get it. I mean, it it has it's got five stars, but it's only five ratings. Um, I think this is not a good deal. Nope. The thing is. <laughs> If you go to Amazon, you can get 50 plastic cups for a few bucks. I mean, the shape is okay. They have this little ridge in it. I guess. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> it's... <laughs> they, did, they got you. They definitely got you. Yeah, you know, when I saw Unbreakable Wine Glass, I ordered it thinking, this will be really fun for the Gizwiz. We'll see if we can break it. And then when when I opened it, I thought, these are like plastic cups. <laughs> and then I went back and read the description. And the award-winning Govino wine glass is actually not glass. <laughs> it is a food-safe BPA polymer that reflects a wine's color, much like crystal. Oh my God, much like crystal. I could say that about almost anything. <laughs> I can say 
Wow, this Ziploc bag that holds my cookies is a texture very much like crystal. It's a- you could say that about my head. It you reflects- could say that about your glasses. <laughs> the, gi- the giz was heads. Yeah. Uh, and yet, there are dozens of companies making these. Even Amazon Basics is four for twenty dollars. I, I Get it, because it's brilliant. It's there's this <laughs> great business move. Let's make a yeah. crummy little plastic. Look here. Let's let's see. I searched. Uh, this is a forty count of diamond unbreakable stimulus plastic champagne. These are just, this is just, I searched for just disposable wine glasses. There's 40 of them. These are almost a dollar each. You know, we could buy these. Yeah, oh, Repackage and rebrand them. them. Ah. Rebrand them. This is a marketing breakthrough. This is what it is. That is so funny. Not your typical roundy <laughs> wine glass, but geometrically designed to enhance that's what they did. They just have a tiny yeah. little cut. That's what makes it different. Yeah. That could even Actually, be a manufacturing error that they have <laughs> started marketing. Yes. yes. The guy making the mold, the original mold was holding it. Yeah. And they said, are all the glass is going to have that? And we he got, goes, oh. oh, yeah, you know, let's yeah, make a new mold. in the side. Oh, well, it's ship a it. finger hold. <laughs> How can we market this? To yes. make it seem like not a mistake. <laughs> yeah. The unslippable, unbreakable wine glass. Exactly. Glass. Exactly. That's what they needed. <clears throat> oh, man. That is yeah. so funny. Uh, okay. Well, with that, let's head to... You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. New set. Same crappy corner. Uh, I recorded a video earlier, so let's take a look. Hey, DGD, so we are back at it with another bathroom gadget. And today we are taking a look at the -the over-the-tank tissue holder. I saw this and I just thought that it was so interesting. It is a way to add extra toilet paper rolls at, you know, instead of actually installing something on the wall or nearby or you know sitting on the floor, it installs directly onto the side of the toilet, and um, you could either just use it just to store extra rolls, or I assume that you could use it also to actually use it as a toilet paper uh, holder. But how weird is this that it connects onto the toilet from the side of the bowl, just like oh. that? That is just so weird to me. So. First step, let's take off the lid and then I'll put it, I guess, right here. (laughs) It does not seem like this is going to be a fantastic solution at the moment, but I'm going to try to push it as far forward uh, there. Then, oh my gosh, what is going on here? (laughs) Okay. Can I, oh my gosh, what? By the way, no, no one real instructions. This is this is really everything that you get. Uh, I guess that's pretty okay. And then we add our extra rolls onto it, like so. There you go. Um, hmm. I gotta say, I'm not as impressed. I don't like. I wish it was a bit more flush. But if you were just storing toilet paper, you know, typically it's like, okay, we got a few extra rolls for for friends who come over. Uh, This is, I guess, another way to kind of clear that off. Although I don't think that it looks as classy as I thought that it would. This is available at Target, so you can just head on over there. And uh, I don't know what I think about this. What do you think about it, Dick? (laughs) Um, Well, I like the idea of, of Hold is that can hold mega rolls. It since, can do that. That is true. Yeah, it can do that. But you know what? Uh, uh, it went by now. Someone said just bend that rod in with pliers oh. and it'll fit much tighter. You have to bend it all the way up at the clasp. Um, uh, um, Dale Paco, use some pliers, rebend the corner. Yeah, I so, can definitely try to make it work. And honestly, once I finally kind of. Cost? 
wedged it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, $12. It was only $12. Um, Without a toilet paper optional? <laughs> toilet paper is, you have to provide your own oh, okay. uh, toilet paper. Um, yeah, so uh, let me get it. Um, uh, sorry. Mm, there we are. Here is it on Target. It comes in three different colors. So you got like oh, okay. a brushed nickel, uh, the white, which I got, and then also black. Um, and only 12 bucks. And I typically put, you know, it, I couldn't tell if I wanted this as a storage solution or as a useful solution. You know what I mean? But I think yeah, it's yeah. better as a storage solution. Um, I think so. And uh, it's a good way to keep the top of the toilet clean, uh, you know, with of things. Or if maybe you had like a shelf above it and you really couldn't do, you know, it may not be a great place to store. So on the side is a bit better. Um, yeah, people are mentioning maybe putting it on the door. Like now that, <laughs> now that you have it, where else could this go? Just put it right here. Put it in the drawer. Not quite. It does. A yeah, drawer it would work. There we go. Will it? Here, let me see if it'll. Uh, it, can, it will actually. The drawer still. You can't see it because there's no shot of it. But it'll it'll make its way into the drawer. So uh, it could also just work on a drawer. Um, what's the empty pocket saying here? Um, so there you go. <laughs> and said, use the lazy Susan. You could put a dozen rolls on it. And you'd always have the back. You could. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Spin it around. You need. You need six more. Whoop. There they are. That's great. Um, so it's only twelve bucks. Uh, I, I found. It, thought it was very clever. I'd never seen anything like it before. Um, and uh, it works okay. It works okay. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Now, the person who submitted this video happens to be the person who made the gadget warehouse video and the opening of our show. Oh, cool! Hello from New Jersey. Uh, it's Ivan Hahn, H-A-H-N. I'm the guy who made the intro video and the warehouse video. If you guys Thank would you. like me to make a video for the letters, let Ooh. me know. Yeah. And I said, yeah, you know, we'd love to have an alternate uh, video for the letters. But anyway, here is Ivan's warehouse video. Perfect. What I have here is a little Bluetooth speaker from Five Below. It costs $5.55 plus tax here in New Jersey. And the cool thing about it is it's waterproof. So I take this little guy into the shower with me. There's a little suction cup on the back. The suction cup doesn't really work as well as I want it to, so I just There's sit a theme on the little shelf I have in yes. my shower. The Bluetooth travels fairly far. I leave my phone in my bedroom, and through two sets of walls, it still picks up fairly well. The speaker quality is okay. What I use it for mainly is listening to podcasts, so it really doesn't matter. I'm not getting any bass out of it. It's just, you know, just some basic little, you know, a little speaker that costs five dollars. It's rechargeable using a micro USB cable. And like I said, five below or five below.com, five dollars and fifty five cents. I like it. Oh my gosh, I like it. I've always been trying to find a good solution for uh for a shower speaker. That is uh, five bucks. I don't need it. To have great bass, I exactly no. like you, Ivan. No. I'm. I just want to be able to listen to podcasts or like listen to the news in the morning. That's yeah, great. Yeah, this would be perfect for that. Yeah, five below, um, and five dollars. I think at the store it's five fifty-five, but and it comes in many colors. I like that. I so like the pretty. waterproof um, ness of it, even if it has a crummy little. 
suction cup. <laughs> I can yes, set it down yes, somewhere. Yes. I like it. Uh, I like Ivan, this is a great video. Ivan, you will get the uh, April issue of Mad with Taylor Swift on the cover. Um, Heck yeah. Somebody was trying to sell his copy of Mad for $50 on eBay because <laughs> Taylor Swift is on the cover. Um, and, and Ivan, thank you so much for the Gadget Warehouse video and our opening video. They're great. And I'm thrilled that we will get another one from you when you have the time, when you're not in the shower, <laughs> listening to your exactly. five below speaker. Exactly. Uh, we'd love to have a new theme for the letters. And that was uh, honestly an impressive video. You had editing. You had oh, you Ivan know, is in the press. chat. Amazing. And Ivan is in the chat. Ivan is in the chat. So we Ivan, appreciate it. We are thanking it's you in person. Yes. Thank you. Here, wait. Here's a little bit of Ivan's it's the work. Same. There you go. That one. That yo, one. yo. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 I broke my... No, oh, there we go. <laughs> Ivan, you're selling a lot of speakers. Exactly. <laughs> Jeff's going to get one for his pool. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ivan, in chat, Eric Duckman. <laughs> Um, I think the, the dumb show actually was the Patreon. Is that right? I think the, <laughs> cause I, I typed out same dumb show, but I am dyslexic. So I typed out same dumb show. I think it was the first day we released the Patreon that we noticed that it said dumb. Is that right? Oh. Or was that the intro? Was that in the intro? Am I crazy? <laughs> Uh, I might be, maybe I did the Patreon because of the intro. Anyway. Uh, uh, yeah. I, Whatever I it is. We need a Wikipedia. We need like a lore. We need to elect someone from the chat room to be our lore specialist. They have to remember all of the Gizwiz <laughs> stories uh, and history. It's in the intro. It's exactly. In the intro. <laughs> Thank you. Thank uh, you. Sims to Rachel said it's in the intro. <laughs> um, uh, how can people send in their own videos? Okay, make a little video. Uh, just use horizontal format. Make sure we can hear you and see the gadget. You can be in it if you want, like uh, Ivan was, or you can, if you're shy, just show the gadget and talk off camera. One to three minutes, put it up on YouTube. There's a drop down menu when you upload and click unlisted. That way, only people with the URL will. We'll be able to see it and send that to us. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we show your video, we show pretty much 99% of them. You'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine, whatever it is. Right now, it's the April issue. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it now. Do it With now. That. Exactly. Was that the letter? No. Now, let's move on to the letter. Now, and who else who sends in the most mail, thankfully, but Mo, with a new gadget wanting to know, would we use it? It's oh kind of bizarre. Here's a little minute and a half video about it. The magic of flight has accompanied humanity since the dawn of time. There are stories and legends from flight from all times, epochs and cultures from all over the world. In the last decades, flight has been industrialized as a means of mass transport, and during this process, you've already lost me. Honestly, I don't need to. I don't need a history of flight <laughs> aviation. No, it's ridiculous. Isn't you've it? I already say, start lost at thirty me. seconds in. <laughs> <laughs> Go to thirty seconds, and then I, it makes it. me not believe that their company. Basically, you know what I mean? No, like, no I don't know. It, it, it worries me too. That's why I, sh I forgot to say, Chad, start at 30 seconds. No, this is in. good. This is good. This is, this is the, the vibe of the company. You know. There, here we go. Of individual flight, affordable for everyone. Inspired by the efficient, effortless, and silent flight of a dragonfly, we came up with our it's unique inspired by a phone book. design, <laughs> following the philosophy that perfection is achieved, not when there is nothing more to it. To me, it doesn't seem like it's in inspired by a firefly. It seems like it's inspired by a helicopter. 
just yeah, gonna, I'm just gonna I, put I that feel, one out there. I think it's a it's an explosion under a phone booth. That is my take <laughs> on this. I don't like. I don't like. I, we don't have to watch this anymore. Um, it's hard to take the company seriously, but how freaking cool! A little hel- a personal. Let's get. Let's talk about personal helicopters. Yes, please. Why not? Give me one reason why not. Sound? Uh, Whatever. Close your well, ears. <laughs> well, I don't know at what stage they are because there's no hint of it being on any Kickstarter or anything like that. There. I mean, I guess one exists. I don't know if it flies. Yeah. I mean, I think a personal air vehicle is pretty cool. Um, yeah. I also think that uh, I think that aviation can really be like changed up a lot. I think that that's a pretty cool. Like maybe maybe these are the guys that do it. Maybe this will become the Uber of flying. They just have to make the vehicle. Um, it is interesting that it is a. It looks like it is a single rider option. Yeah, um, it is, <clears throat> and and I think I forgot the weight limit. Do you think you'd get into this though? Do you think would you? Boy, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Here's the thing: we still don't have self-driving cars. Am I going to get into an autonomous flying vehicle? No. <laughs> no. I'm going to get. I will get into an autonomous wheeled vehicle at the moment. Uh, flight is a whole nother dimension. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what, literally, actually, we're going in the third dimension, okay? Vehicles are kind of 2D, <laughs> if you think about it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I don't think I would I would uh, risk it. No. Okay, Mo, we're not, no, don't put us down as Not backwards. investing, Mo. <laughs> we, are, we are bullish on, uh, yeah. on this one. Bearish on this one. Um... Thank you for sending that that over, uh, Mo. Uh, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so, so much for your support. Uh, one of the, what y'all helped with this set here. Um, that's great. Great. That's uh, all, all thanks to the patrons. So thank you, patrons, for supporting our show. Patreon.com slash gizwiz is where you can support our show. Or head on over to gizwiz.tv slash Patreon? <laughs> Just head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website, and there'll be a big old banner that'll take you to our Patreon page. Uh, and then there's also a tiny little link that'll take you to our PayPal page as well. So however you want to support us, you can, and we appreciate it so much. Uh, all of y'all's support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, seriously. Thank you so much for y'all's uh, generosity. Head on over to gizwiz.tv to watch the show live. Just about every Thursday, we are live right now, if you wouldn't believe it, uh, right there on the website. Just head on over there. The uh, the the live stream will just update uh, there on the website uh, around the time that the show starts. Join the chat room, chat along with everybody. Once again, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time on Thursdays. If there's ever a schedule change, it'll be at the top of our website, so you'll know about that. Um, and uh, you can always catch our show on after the fact on our website, gizwiz.tv, on our YouTube page, or on Apple Podcasts, all over the place, all over the internet. So, uh, so watch it. Um, head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Diggy D's website where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you ever need a link back to a gadget <clears throat> or a reminder about a gadget, gizwiz.biz, best place to head. While you're there, play. What the heck is it? Oh, man, this is what you're playing for. The Taylor Swift Mad Magazine. Oh, my gosh. I'm excited about it. Uh, But this is the gadget. The whole gadget. Not just a piece or a part of the gadget. You got to guess what this is. And this is uh, obviously a uh, My First Wine Glass. Yeah, it's a Fisher (laughs) Price My First Wine Glass for... Getting those like it. little children <laughs> into some reds and whites. Um, if you think you know what this is, get a guess in gizwiz.biz. Six Mad Magazines for 
correct answers, 12 bad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.